Hi, this is Miss Wiles, and in this video, we will be finding the y-intercept of the graph of a function. Anytime you're looking for the y-intercept, you need to remember that what the y-intercept happens when x equals zero. Every single time, 100% of the time, it never fails. The y-intercept is the value of the function when x equals zero. So if the y-intercept is the value of the function when x equals zero, then your strategy for solving this problem without a calculator is to substitute zero for x and evaluate the function. When we substitute zero for x, we take the function that we have since everything that we need to do to evaluate is on the left-hand side of the equation and nothing is on both sides, we don't have to move anything around. So we have 2 times 1.5 to the 0 power plus 3. When we evaluate that, that is going to give us the value of our y-intercept. Our first step in evaluating this is to evaluate the exponent to evaluate the exponential part of this expression. And we have 1.5 to the 0 power. Anything to the 0 power is 1. I don't care what's in those parentheses. Anything to the 0 power is 1. Then we bring everything else that was in the expression down. The next step in evaluating an expression is to multiply. After you've taken care of the exponents, you multiply or divide in the order that you see it in the problem. We have multiplication here with 2 times 1, and 2 times 1 is 2. We bring down the plus 3 that hasn't been handled yet, and the last step is to evaluate the addition, and 2 plus 3 is 5. The y-intercept of this graph is 5, and that's just how you find the y-intercept. So remember, when you're looking for the y-intercept, substitute 0 for x and evaluate the function. If you have a graph in front of you, like we did on this last one, if you watch the video on finding the appropriate graph for an equation, our y-intercept can be seen by looking at the graph. The y-intercept is the point on the graph when it crosses the y-axis. You can find that on your calculator, but when you don't have a calculator to use for that portion of the test, then you have to use this method. And that's all I have to say about that.